So we're going to make a shopping list in Excel. So I'm just going to put a title at the top, shopping list, in cell A1. And then in cell A4 or A3, let's put item. And let's put price. Then we'll put quantity for how many we're going to buy. And then we'll put total. So the idea is we're going to type in a few things, put the price in, decide how many we're going to buy, and then calculate the total. Now, this cell, sorry, this column A and column B are quite narrow. So what I'm going to do is just between A and B, you see the cursor changes to the two arrows. I'm going to drag that along to make it a bit wider. I'm going to highlight these cells, press B to put them in bold. I can even click the view, the zoom, you can zoom to selection, so it's a little bit bigger for us to work with. So let's say my shopping list, I want to buy some pencils, pens, rubbers, and rulers. And let's say the price of these is... Now we've got to be very careful here, because if we work in pence for one and pounds for another, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. So what I'm actually going to do is highlight these four items and if I go to home I can see here that I've got a cell types for the number. So I'm going to change that to currency. So I'm hoping now that when I type in it's put it as 75 pence for me. And let's presume that rub pens are £1.20. Rubbers, 30p. Oh, it's put it as 30 pounds. I need to put the decimal point. And rulers are £1.45. And for quantity, this is how many of something I'm going to buy. 43. And for the trickiest bit, it's my total. It's the first time I'm going to use a spreadsheet formula. Spreadsheet formulas all start off with equals. And I'm going to be multiplying cell B4. I can type B4, I can click on it. And I'm going to put a star, shift and eight. I can be multiplying it by C4. Enter. Now, it's actually put the total to be three here, which isn't quite right. What I actually need to do is change the cells here to the currency. And now we've got three pounds, which is looking better. So let's repeat that equals C5 times now to make life a little easier, I can actually go to the bottom right hand corner, you see I've got a, a black um, cursor now, if I drag that down, what's called drag copy the, con the um, formula for me. So I'm hoping now that I've just about got my table ready. Now I just need a total total underneath now, let's put total here, and there's a number of different ways that I can do this, but the one that I'm going to use is auto sum. And it puts in for you straight away equals sum D4 to D7, which is the cell range. And there we go. I've got my total. Now, a couple of other things I can do with my table just to finish it off. Let's actually, um, if I click on the, um, I can choose a background shading. Um, I'd actually quite like to put some borders. So I'm just going to put all borders on my table. Um, and let's just with these cells at the top, let's just fill them yellow. And I could really do, oh, I'll tell you what I've just knocked off. I've just accidentally changed my cells away from currency. So let's just highlight and change those back to currency. There we go. Oh, I was just going to make the final cell there bold. There we go. There's my completed shopping list with Excel formerly used.